Hey y'all, what's T? It's your boy Beat by D and we are back with another video. I am bringing you a how-to video on how to make your makeup last for the summer. Because right now, I was just checking the weather and it is 91 degrees. Who wants to be outside? Who? Oh. But if you do have to, similar to, I had to do the Pride event in Chicago and it was like super hot and I was wearing the rainbow on my face and I needed this face to stay all day. And let me just tell you, it lasted me all day. So if you guys want to learn a few tips and tricks, make sure to stay tuned and subscribe to my channel while you're at it and give this video a thumbs up. I will also post all my social medias right here. They will pop from the top and stay tuned to watch how I transform. So the most important step right now is to moisturize your face because we want that makeup to stay, not go anywhere, it has to be sweat proof. So I am using this Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty, which looks like this. I have the large version, the six ounce. And then I use two more moisturizers. I use the MAC Complete Comfort Cream and the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Face Cream. So I like to blend it in with a foundation brush. This is a Sigma Foundation F60 brush. So I am going to spray it with Fix Plus. And then we are gonna go in. So my Ride or Die foundation is the Studio Fix Fluid by MAC. And I use the shade NC30. And it does have SPS 15. So when I tell you that I didn't get sunburn because of my foundation, I'm telling y'all. So I just shake it a little bit. I'm actually going to speed up the process for the foundation because it does take a little bit to get that poison. It does take a little bit for you to get that perfect face application. All I'm going to use is my Beauty Blender, Fix Plus, and the foundation. And then I will be back to finish off the concealer and my powders because that's the most important part. One more thing, the most important place to put foundation is your nose because that's going to be the first place that it's going to run off. So I do take a little bit more time on my nose. Now I'm going to move on to concealer. And I like to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Creamy Beige. And also the NARS. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. First I go with my LA Girl. Because it's full coverage. And then I apply it. Now I'm going to take this um, Morphe sponge. And I am going to blend She's coming together. Oh. My camera is my camera is heating up. I am actually gonna set my under eye and come back because I can't let this unset. So give me a few minutes and I will be right back. In the meantime, make sure to subscribe to my channel. So since my camera died, I am just recording on my iPhone. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a whole different color. But I am blending the custard, which is a NARS concealer. And I only applied a little bit of it. Well, you guys are right there. I'm going to use my Laura Mercier, my Cameo powder, and the MAC Patrick Star powder. So I like to grab a little bit. So first I pour it. So I get a little bit on the cap. Then I pour some Cameo powder by Benai. And then I mix that together. I let it just grab the cap and go like this. And then the last color, or the last powder that I use, is the MAC Patrick Star. 
So I'll grab a little bit of that. Okay, so, so then I just mix it together. That this is not creased. Then I grab the powder. And I'm setting. This is so ratchet, I'm so sorry guys, but I needed to set my face and my camera was heating up. Okay. So. Okay, so this is what I look like so far. I think my camera cooled down. <laughs> so I'm gonna switch back to my camera so we can finish the tutorial. Okay, so I am back. I just set my under eye and around my nose and also everywhere that I highlighted. Now I'm gonna go back with my Laura Mercier powder. This is a translucent. This is my translucent Laura Mercier powder. And I'm gonna grab this Morphe E41 big fluffy brush. And I'm going to set everywhere else, so. So now, I'm gonna use my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC20, which looks like this, I already hit pan. And I'm actually gonna use this Royal Contour BMD 120. They actually gave me this when I went to Generation Beauty. And I am going to first run this underneath my eyes. That way I can blend out the powder that was sitting there and also set that as well really good. So, so first I press it and then I move it around my nose. Because we need that to be super matte. So now what I like to do is I grab my Fix Plus and before that let me just run this real quick so all the powder that I don't need can go away. Okay. Now I'm going to set my face with Fix Plus. I do this like four times so. So we are doing that. Yes, yes. I grab my Patrick Star powder with the same Morphe brush. I dig in. And then I like to cut it. back to the MAC Patrick powder with the same sponge and then I like to put it here we're gonna give a nose job to our nose Too much right there. Oh, wow. Okay. So 
Then we're going to let that sit for a second. I'm going to do some finishing touches and then I will be right back to finish setting my face because I feel like if you don't set your face, your face will not last. So make sure to stay tuned. So see you in a second, okay? Okay, so I am back. So now I'm going to show you guys how I set my face. I actually use three different setting sprays. The first one I like to go in is my MAC Fix Plus. And then this is in the small coconut. You can use whatever is Fix Plus. This one was the closest one to me. I have my other ones a little bit reach away. So I'd rather not grab them. So. So. That was my first one. Then I like to go with my Tasha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. So I just shake it a little bit. And then. kind of funky and then this is the one that you guys need to buy because this one will save your life this is the Scandinavia the makeup finishing spray in the bridal one this says fine mist oil free and paraben free so shake it now we are going to spray so your fan or my fans can blow on me just kidding so Whew. okay so oh I also like to set my my neck that way it does not run either so that's basically it all you have to do is a few more steps when you do your regular makeup just add a little bit more foundation and also more powder, press it in, and make sure to set your face along the way that way your makeup can stay on. Because in this heat, like, your face will stay on all day, I promise you. And like I said, if you're gonna wear sunglasses, make sure to bring your foundation and a beauty blender so you can touch up in case you take them off and you have those two little indents right there. And that's basically it guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and follow me on all my social medias. They should be appearing right here. But I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.